things are changing slowly. I see that there are some jobs that are military friendly, but we just got to do more to make that information visible. We're in a transition, and I learned this in doing the research for my movie, um, three years to do research. The transition for a lot of women that come home is that they keep it hidden that they have a sexually assault. One in three women are sexually assaulted in the military. Um, so that's a lot of women. A lot of women. Um, so to we're me, saying it out loud. We're saying it out loud. Imagine once you yes, want to talk exactly. about it. So for those women who don't talk about it, what we want to do, having that support system in place to help them transition and to be able to deal with uh, most of them have PTSD. And uh, so many keep it quiet and keep it secret because they just don't want to, either it's too painful to talk about it or they just don't, just don't want to share it with anyone. And that's, that hurts them in a lot of ways. It hurts them trying to come back and transition. For me, when I went over to the desert, um, my, my biggest fear was transitioning back um, to the civilian states. But I always remembered seeing like commercials and the news, how the civilians and everybody are welcoming you, open arms, and thanking you, job well done, this and this and that, right? And then when I come home, it was like, as I walked through the airport, it was just like nothing. And I was just like, wow, you know, I mean, I'm not looking for that, but it sure would be nice to get recognized for for the hard work that you do. And that's with any job, you know, because you want to make sure that your labor is not in vain. And so with that, I, you know, and I had issues with my unit and I just, I felt alone. I felt I couldn't identify with anybody. Um, I was, I was by myself. And, um, and to be honest, to this day, I actually started learning about the resources. So it, it wasn't nothing telling me, hey, we have this for women veterans. We, I mean, where's that information? Share what happened to them with the counseling and the help that they need would help a lot of women transition. I mean, I'm not taking away from the men. The men are, it happens to the men too. It actually happens more to men than them being sexually assaulted because there's more men in the military. But and they definitely don't share it. You know, they definitely don't say I'm sharing it. But I'm, since we're talking about the women, I'm just saying that they need that resource more than ever because it's still too, far too many um, that don't get the support and help they need when they end up, you know, homeless or end up on substance abuse or end up, you know, taking their life which is obviously not, not a good thing. So we could have more resources for those women uh, that they feel, and a lot of them don't feel they can go to the VA. They haven't been given the proper help or support, they put them on drugs or something, you know, whatever, or dismiss what happened to them, then that makes it even worse for them. So they have to find, have a, more of a safe port to go and don't be judged and know that they won't be blamed or ridiculed or retaliation. It's different for everyone. I think something that's not necessarily women specific, but that is very important uh, when veterans transition is the actual concept of camaraderie and, and, and family and brother and sister. Different issues and concerns. I'm finding so many different mentalities that it seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. Is a challenge. Um, so so I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge. And I was built. I was built for this. I think that I think we, that all have we all have a purpose in life, in life. and mine is going to take on a task that most of us back away from, that impossible, that people say is impossible.